Lincoln, Nebraska, and a place some of the game's immortals have called home. Johnny the Jet, Frazier, Crouch, Rozier, and many, many more have built this big red legacy as this crowd is ready to cheer on their beloved Cornhuskers. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Illinois Fighting Illini taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Cornhuskers will boot it away to start the game. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Fighting Illini offense takes the field and they'll have the ball first. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Illinois lining up quickly. Looking to throw, it's Altmaier. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. On third down, going up top. Complete to the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. From the gun, running back on the move. Running with power. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll run play action. And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. Tough linebackers getting after quarterbacks. The Huskers have a rich tradition of that. Yeah, and you think about the black shirts, and you hear that if you're a Nebraska fan, you know exactly what that means. Guys that are different, guys that see it, that hunt it, that go get the football like this guy just did. On third down, he drops the throw. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. So Nebraska's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. They gave themselves room to operate with that first play. Now first down from the 37. Give to the back. 
They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The hand to the running back. And he's to the 48-yard line. That would be good enough for a first down. Well, when you talk Nebraska football, it always comes down to their ability running it on offense, whether it's the option or whether it's conventional. They've got a long and illustrious history of great running backs, and this guy is on the field for a reason. His vision, his ability to make people miss, run with toughness, he can do it all. Looking for room, it's Urban. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to the ground game on the left. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. They'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. I love the jet sweep early in the game. Take the nerves out, hand the football to somebody who's really fast. There's a really good chance you're going to get positive yards around the outside like you did right there. Here on second and short. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to pass. It's Rayola. Fires to the middle. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. You know the saying, no risk it, no biscuit. If you want big plays on offense, you've got to be able to take shots. They didn't hit that one, but moving ahead in the second half, expect this offense to keep dialing them up. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it, so you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it back looking for help. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. They've got him then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Illinois right back to the line. Right back to the well. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I 
know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout, so you get tired and you're going down in the fourth quarter. He's looking to throw on third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Illinois lining up to punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Great move, now he's got room. Coverage team gets the job done and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Using his legs, it's Irvin. At midfield, he's got room. Open runway ahead. And finally, out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. How about the offensive line working in tandem on these blocks? You see some of those guys that got up into the second level, got a hat on a hat, and that left open a huge crease for the running back. Huge play, puts them in the red zone, and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 15. They're going to ride this running back. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stopped. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Trying to bully their way in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cornhusker. This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Illinois lining up quickly. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. Fires to the big fella. Smashes through. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. He'll do it himself. 
And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. A strike downfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Illinois putting together a really nice drive. He's looking to throw it. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. He got it. They will score. Touchdown, Illini. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown. And that's pretty much what just happened there. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Off play action. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Third and ten, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. Fires to the wide out. He's got him wide open. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. The Huskers will snap it on first and ten. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of game, game, game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Pass the 30. 
And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Going to the run, it's Irvin. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He'll run it again. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. And the Huskers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Scanning the field, it's Rayola. He makes the catch in the end zone! Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're able to move the ball in a drive like that, the most overrated stat in football would be field position. Agreed, and I think confidence is big right now after that last drive. To be able to flip the field like that, not just do it, but go down and score a touchdown. Running and throwing. For this offense now moving forward in this game, that last drive is going to pay big dividends. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good. It put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Illinois offense returns to the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Dialing up a second down pass play. Makes the grab outside. It's Sanders. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Here's the handoff. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes... You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. They'll keep it on the ground. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. To the air, it's Altmeyer. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is just a gargantuan play as he has it all the way down to the 12. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Illinois moving it quickly down the field.
Pulls and fires it complete to the right. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Illinois right back to the line. The inside handoff. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. This crowd busting the decimal meter and trying to will a fourth down stop. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And they must have had a play in practice that they just felt was unstoppable because they essentially just took away an automatic chip shot field goal to go for that fourth down. But because of the execution, it was just too good. They're looking now to score six. Trying to barge in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Illinois. Up and over, Yamo will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really... Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Bringing it back. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown fighting Illini. What a play by this defense with a pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And that makes the score. Illinois, 21, Nebraska, 17. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They'll leave it with him. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That's a great-looking run there. And Nebraska has had such a great lineage at running back. When you think back to the great Roger Craig or Amon Green, Lawrence Phillips, Rex Burkhead, they always seem to be pumping somebody up into the NFL. This guy has a chance to play on Sunday because of his skills. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. 
You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. All down at the 39-yard line, but he's got 15 yards on the play and a fresh set of downs. This coaching staff has really done a nice job marrying the play-action game to their running game. That looked like that was going to be a run. Everything in that play said they're running the ball downhill at the last second quarterback pulled the football, and he was able to complete the throw. To the air on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the right. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Hand off from the gun. There to stop him after a pickup of three. It's down to the 15. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down at second and seven. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they'll send the Number field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And he'll try to knock it through from 33 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Trying to impose their will with the run. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads.
Illinois lining up quickly. Looking downfield, it's Altmaier. And they got him for the sack. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Illinois runs the punt unit onto the field. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. They'll run the toss. Turns it on in midfield. Nothing but green ahead. Look at that toughness just running through everybody. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. This offense can get a jolt of momentum headed to the locker room if they can take the lead here. He'll set up to throw. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Husker. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner goes down. The Illinois offense returns to the field. This has been a spectacular offensive showcase so far, David. This has been unbelievable. The fireworks have been amazing. This is modern offense now. Tomo, when you look at college football, there's a lot of scoring and defenses haven't had a lot of answers. No, and this game's been a track meet, man. So if you're on offense right here, keep the pedal to the metal. Keep the tempo going. Stay aggressive. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Now on offense, you're trying to get your running back involved here in the passing game, and obviously no success on that play. Defense seemed like they were aware of it, and all of a sudden you've set yourself up in a tough position here on third. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle. It's Sanders. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll throw it on first down. Able to make the catch, but not in the field of play. It's an incomplete pass. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a greatly thrown football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds, and just on to the next down. Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw. 
Got a man. It's Bryant. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Well, this offense has come out slinging the pill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet and really really be physical because if he bobbles it at all or as soon as his hand gets to the ball you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out that is just a sideline clinic throw catch toe drag everything you want great job by the qb and the wide receiver understanding what they had to do to get a first down. I don't care about the completion. I don't care about getting a certain amount of yards. I got to get that first down so I get another set of downs so we can keep this drive alive. Comes out throwing on first down. Looking to take a shot. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. And on that incompletion, I think the quarterback was being just a bit too careful. Trying to throw that ball too far outside. Obviously aware that the defenders are coming from the inside. You don't want to put it behind the intended target and risk the pick six, but he needs to be more accurate. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Altmaier. This time on target. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Well, when you're running the curl route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. Looking to go up top on first down. That's caught. It's Franklin. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. <laughs> running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He'll try it again on second and ten. Let's it go to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. But we know down here when you're throwing into the end zone, the windows are so, so small. Ball gets tipped like that. There are a lot of defenders lurking around. QB's lucky that one wasn't picked. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. It's good. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Lincoln. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, back to the Sea of Red and our guys at Memorial Stadium. Ready to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. 
Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They opened this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the strength of that running game. And they made a huge statement, too, just proving to the other team that they're more physical, they're winning in the trenches. So here in the second half, David, just keep demoralizing this defense by pounding the football. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to let that happen. I, I riled up my guys at halftime. We're going to put more people in the box, and they, we got to come out and meet the physical challenge of this offense. To throw, it's Rayola. He's going to throw deep right side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. You don't get a lot of chances like that in games, guys. Take shots downfield, and when you get open, you got to finish the play, and the wideout's going to wish he had that one back. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Mayer. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. Returns going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Illinois right back to the line. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. This offense gets into plus territory. They're going to go for it regardless of their field goal kicker's range. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. And the pass is intercepted. Taking it the other way. And after the interception, he brings it back and gets it inside the 35. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football. You saw him right there. Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. You get field position like this, and you're not likely to punt the way they did the last time they had the ball. Yeah, great job by the defense setting them up in the opportunity to get some points on the board quick. This is an opportunity you got to capitalize on this field position. You must come away with points here if you're on offense. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. The Cornhuskers get it past the sticks. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, picked up two. Yeah, great job up front, great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. The Huskers are moving quickly down the field. Red pass, it's complete. Touchdown, Corn Huskers! And they take it in for six more points. Game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Illinois offense returns to the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football back. And I think, I think here, too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Motion from the offense. To the air, it's Altmaier. He makes the connection. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Quickly. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Got it in the middle. It's Fadeau. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Who says in the RPO pass game you can't throw anything vertically downfield, right? It doesn't all have to be screens and throws at the line of scrimmage. There's a good example of a quarterback pushing the ball vertically downfield after the play fake to the running back. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. 
After misfiring, it's second down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. Back to pass, it's Rayola. Gets it out quickly. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense, too, right? There was a broken tackle. The guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. First down here for the offense. He wants to throw. Finds his target down the middle. Makes the catch and knock down. My old coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Illinois right back to the line. It's reverse. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue. No Oscars being handed out on On third and long, try to convert through the air. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. The receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Give the offensive line tons of credit on that running play. Just working really well as a unit right now. They're being physical. They're getting a lot of push, and you see guys working up into the second level, getting hats on hats at linebackers and DBs as they try to get involved. This old line right now really showcasing their physicality. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Back to throw. It's Altmaier. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. They'll go to the air on third and short. Grab near the marker, it's Franklin. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you could do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Illinois lining up quickly. Off the play fake. 
Unloads to the right. He's got it. And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. Throwing the comeback looks like such a simple throw, but the timing is so important. And as a quarterback, man, this is all about trusting your guy. You know exactly where he's going to sit it down. You anticipate it. You throw it. You know he's going to come back and make that play for you. Looking for a man. It's Altmaier. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Illini. And how about this play by the offense? First and goal from the one-yard line. Everything says it's going to be a run. It's going to be a run. Nice job by the offense. A little sleight of hand, throwing the football, getting the touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll try the run. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who start through the first three periods. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Back to pass, it's Rayola. Got him downfield. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And the Huskers have it with a first and ten. They move the tight end all over. Looking for room. It's Irvin. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Trying play action. Zings it complete to the right. Across the 25, he's got room. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The Cornhuskers are rolling down the field. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He makes a grab, takes it to the house. Touchdown, Nebraska! Well, Lil Red's probably turning into Big Red with pride right now with this performance. He's turning in. And, man, he is in his bag. He's running it. He's throwing it. This defense is like, how about I have it? What? Which way do I go? Who's got the football? He is setting this defense on fire. up for the PAT. And 
and the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Illinois right back to the line. Leaves it with the back. Bulls his way forward. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking downfield, it's Altmaier. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Illinois lining up to punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He gets a block. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. Tackled at the 45 after the five-yard play. It's enough for the first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. At the 35, he's got room. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Caught near the sideline, it's Boyd. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Great timing there on that throw by the QB on the out route. Gets it to his guy just in time. He makes the catch, and his momentum takes him out of bounds. Now on second down, they want to keep moving forward and keep that clock churning. Back to throw, it's Rayola. He's got his man. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it, keep getting those stats. From the gun, the ground game. They make the stop, and they give up five yards on the run. It's down to the 11. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. They'll put the tight end in motion. The gift to the back. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Up 
really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Wants to throw on third. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Number Ball third. falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Illinois offense returns to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Illinois lining up quickly. To the air. It's Altmaier. Fires left. He's got an open man. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Trying to find his man on first down. Gets it to the back. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. And no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. The aerial assault continues. Quick strike complete. And as a defense, you're going to give up plays, and receivers are going to make nice catches, but it's your job to limit the damage. Great job by the defense. As soon as he catches the football, they get him on the ground. Don't allow any of those big plays after the catch. Now on second and short after the first down completion. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught, and the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock, that is at a premium for this offense. Illinois picked up the first down. Now here they come again. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Offense lining up quickly. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. He finds his man. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. They're down to the 20, first and 10. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Fires and picked off. He'll try to take it back. 
And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet. It's getting pretty close. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and get six points. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Powers through the defender. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. You know, tackling is a lost art in college football. I'm sorry. you got to do a better job defensively there. Two, at least two different guys had a chance to bring him down. They couldn't do it. Coming up on second down as they try to hold this lead. They're looking to get the edge with this one on the toss. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. They go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Running back searching for a hole. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stops. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Huskers are threatening on first and goal. He'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. I'll try to power it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Husker! This guy's looking to put the finishing touches on this game with that score. Yeah, I think you feel confident that ends it, right? Late in the game, it would take a miracle for the defense to get back in it. That miracle is no longer coming now. line up to go for two. Barrels ahead. Worked on the touchdown. Might as well do the same thing on the two-point conversion. He gets all eight points on that trip. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Set to advance on the ball. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. Going up top on first down. 
got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Got to get everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. It's second down. Offense gets set for second down. To the air. It's Altmaier. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. If you like the stats, and I know you do, he's over 400 yards passing now. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's just been throwing bullets all over the field. And the offense just going to spike it here. It's now second down. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Lost one deep down the right side. Downfield and in, complete the defense holds. And after this play, the cake will be baked. And they'll take a knee and watch this clock keep on winding, winding its way toward a victory. 